I was only doing 300,000 in revenue, you know, and now we're up in the, you know, millions, you know, that, that's a huge, <laughs> huge improvement. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Brandon Dawson and welcome back to another episode of the B. Dawson Show. I'm here with Dr. Greg. Dr. Greg, introduce yourself. Yeah, everybody knows me here as Dr. G, Dr. Greg Persley. I'm from um, two hours south of St. Louis. I'm part of the AMI Integrated Medical Clinic model. Um, they partnered with Cardone Ventures. Done a lot with them and uh, it's really helped accelerate my personal growth as well as my business's growth. It's awesome. And, and so... Uh, AMI is a partnership with Grant Cardone and I in the chiropractic alternative medicine integrated space, and yeah. you're one of the doctors that works with that with that group. So yeah, so I was a chiropractor for 14 years and uh, really wanted to accelerate my growth. I, I kept asking myself a question, and the question was, can I keep doing what I'm doing for the rest of my career? And the answer was resounding, no. There's yeah. no way. Yeah. And so um, I was like, man, I don't know how to build a business. I don't know how to train my employees. I don't know how to add services. I don't know how to track revenue. I didn't know any of that. I just know how to adjust people. Yeah. <laughs> and so I had looked and searched for five years and finally found AMI. And coincidentally, AMI was partnering, car partnering with Cardone Ventures. And that's the path uh, that I needed to go on. Yeah, crazy. So, you know, what's, what, when sitting here talking... Did it fall? Yeah, it fell on you, and then oh. I, I'm not able to hear anything. Okay, how about how are you right now? now? Okay, yeah. okay, perfect. So, so talking about AMI and our partnership at Cardo Ventures, sitting here with you, it's so surreal because you were one of the very first people I met when I went to the first Grant Cardone event I had ever been to, which was GrowthCon in. Miami with 35,000 people and here you and I are sitting here almost three years later on a podcast working <laughs> with AMI as partners. Yeah, it, it kind of brings goosebumps to me because I'll give you the brief history that you don't even know about. In 2018, I was at my wits end. Uh, I was frustrated. My business was, was faltering. It wasn't making the money I wanted to make. I was just banging my head against the wall and I didn't know where to go, what to do. And uh, my buddy introduced me to Grant Cardone's material. That was October 2018. He's like, you got to come to Miami to this Growth Con 3. And I was like, I don't even know how I'm going to be able to afford to do that. But after reading a couple books, I committed. I said, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to make it, figure out a way to make it happen. Well, I figured out a way to make it happen. And then that was the And year. we met each other. That was when I met you at the... Uh, I, I, didn't even, I didn't even know uh, that going into that Growth Con... I went there specifically to see what Grant Cardone and his team was about. I didn't know anything about him six months earlier. I bought my tickets in October of 18. And, and I, I, I clearly remember running into you, meeting you. And, and, but at that point, I didn't even have any idea that Grant and I had partner. I didn't know that Grant would introduce me to AMI. No idea. It, it wasn't even, the thought wasn't even there. And here we are three years later. And all of us through one way or another have found a way to partner and uh and now let's talk about since we started working together uh you first started working you you found grant the same time i did yeah. talk about your journey kind of what's <clears throat> happened with your business since working with both grant and myself and ami now sure yeah so that first year i dove deep into grant's materials learned a lot about sales you know i was just trying to figure out how to um, put myself into the market and uh, project the message of how I could help people. And so that's what Grant really taught me over that first year. And I also bought John Maxwell's material that year, Jesse Itzler's material, Pete Vargas's material um, with Adventure Reach. And I took all those classes very seriously. I was really behind on personal growth, so I did all of that. Um, that year, the business grew some. It, it, it improved. And I, the reason why I say some is because the next year is when I joined AMI at the GrowthCon um, the next year. And since joining AMI and partnering so with we you partnered. Guys, so we yeah. partnered with AMI. You and I were always in dialogue with each other. And I yeah. told you, hey, we've partnered with this AMI group. You should look at them. Then you looked at AMI, and then you started working with AMI, mm -hmm. and then you started going into my programs. So we started working together, and, and what's happened since that? 
Well, in essence, I mean, the quick version is our company's grown six times. I mean, so wow. we're, we're six times bigger than we were in essence. And a really cool stat that I love is our, our um, payroll is now greater than what our revenue per month was <laughs> a year ago. So our revenue per month a year ago, now uh, our payroll is exceeding that. And, and it just shows you, and our, our profit margins are better. And But it, it's given me clarity and certainty is what it's really done. And I really want to say thank you. I really appreciate the fact that you have taken your systems and you said, I'm going to take this to people who don't know how to run a business. That was not a skill set. And now it is. So I feel certain I could go into a business and be able to understand it and analyze it better simply because I've taken you know, all <laughs> of your courses that you've done at Cardone Venture, Venture. So I really do appreciate the fact that you're doing that for everybody, for a clinic that, that I felt, I hate to say bad, but I just, I was only doing 300,000 in revenue, you know, and now we're up in the, you know, millions, you know, that, that's a huge, <laughs> huge improvement. Yeah. I mean, one. just, just in the last but, 36 months, oh, you yeah. dynamically, uh, exploded in your business doing something that you're passionate about, but you were getting burned out with. I was getting burned out because there was no future. There was no hope for the future. I was already maxed out at, at what I wanted to do at my capacity, and I didn't know how to grow past where I was. And when you have no hope for the future, every day is just walking through mud. I mean, you're just like, ah, oh, I don't want to go in today because I don't know the next step. But now waking up in the morning is exciting. Because I know I have the certainty, I have the clarity, I have the vision for that future. Um, and it's, you know, through the programs you've created with Cardone Ventures, it's through the uh, consulting through AMI, going through the platforming process, the 10x 360 process, and then ultimately the SBU process, where you have people that are smarter than you that allow you to maximize what you do best. And what I do best is, is explaining how we can help more people and growing past where we currently are. I am not an accountant. I don't do that very well. Yeah. I, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm a visionary. I'm, I'm excited to talk about wh how we can help people and tell stories about that and go talk to groups in order to get them to understand how we can help those people. And through that, I make a bigger impact. I don't need to be sitting behind a desk punching in numbers and typing stuff out. That's not or putting your important. marketing strategy together or putting your people strategy together or building compensation plans or yeah. running forecasts and and and. Uh, you know, monthly actual P and L's and and all that stuff, all the stuff that you didn't get into business to do. Right, but you no, have to do it when you're in business. You have to know, I mean, and, and you and when you say have to, you have to. In order to to effectively run a business, you have to know those things. And I think back to when we first met. I knew so little about business, but my cocky, you know, but that, that's I, the so doctor like, side. Of you. I thought, I thought, <laughs> I I really kind of had a handle. And I'll never forget, you, you've directed me a few times, but I'll never forget, it was the um, GrowthCon uh, 4 in Vegas, and I walked up to you, and I, uh, it, it was after that year, we'd grown some, and I was like, man, we're kind of maxed out where we're at. I'm thinking about opening another clinic, and before I got those words out of my mouth, you went, no, 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 don't do that. You're like, look, join a 360, and what a lot of people would think is, oh, that's, he was just trying to sell you, but that's not true. There's an honesty, a respect a reality here of you have to have the basics in place before you do something silly like expand and you you weren't selling me on that pro that principle you were saying look if you want to expand which is awesome you've got to get the basics and the 360 is the beginning of that so in january of last year i, I did a 360 or i'm sorry it was this year january yeah. this year yeah. i did 360 two months later after implementing that we had already started to grow we we um we increased, I think, by like 30%. In the yeah, first you know, month. I tell... It was, it was really quick. I tell people when you go through the 360, you should expect to grow between 25 and 50%. Yeah. And, and just going back and implementing the things that you mentioned there, and I only implemented seven things. We grew by, I don't even remember, but it was 25, 35, 40%, something like that. I mean, it was quick. Enough that two months later, I felt confident at the next growth con this year that uh, I'd go ahead and sign up for platforming. And, you know, when people say, oh, man, I don't know about that. I'm like, well, would you invest money to, to multiply your, uh, your income by 10 times? Would, wouldn't you do that? I mean, if you could, whatever you're going to invest, if you can multiply that investment by 10 times year after year, would you do that? 
And they go, well, yeah. I'm like, that. literally, that's what it is. I don't care what business you're in either. Because going to all the calls this last year, I've sat and listened to different business owners, and they all have the same problems. And all those problems are solved in the platforming process. Yeah, you know what's funny is people ask me, uh, how can you help so many different kinds of businesses? And, and you've been sitting on our weekly roundtables fully vested, doing the same thing, business owners that are in landscaping, dentists, uh, running technology companies, um, construction companies, HVAC, electricians, concrete, uh, you know, you, 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 you mention it, we got it in the system, the IT tech guys. And, and so, um, and so you sit and listen to them talk about their trials, their, their struggles, their conflicts. And you're like, that's every single thing I deal with. So there's some magic to the idea of knowing, you know, when you know you're not alone, you're not, it's not unique. I mean, the whole growth process for business owners is you got to learn how to grow through all that stuff. What, yeah. what has been the hardest thing for you to learn in the last two years as you've literally 10 X the growth of your business? Well, the, I'd say the hardest thing for me is not necessarily what I've learned. It's the fact that being a visionary and somebody that's an influencer and wants to grow and expand and paint this big picture, it's to take the process and document everything first. That was the hardest thing is to get everything lined out to where you can expand responsibly. And you can feel free to use that phrase, you know, because it's a lot of people expand and they're reckless about it. Mm -hmm. They're just expanding because, oh, I think we can or whatever. But, you know, expanding responsibly would be, man, we've got everything so dialed in that now we know we can duplicate it at the next place. My, I mean, my whole vocabulary has changed. My perspective has changed as growing as an individual. But like I said, the certainty is really what matters to me. So the, the hardest thing I learned um, are my own weaknesses that I need to improve upon. Uh, but making sure that everything is dialed in and being very um, systematic with that has been the hardest part for me personally. Uh, but I've been guided through that process. So it wasn't a hard process as far as doing, uh, you know, the, the, the doing, it was just hard for me to say, okay, put the visionary side away for a moment and let's really get systematic with, with everything. What would you say to all those chiropractors or, or medical professions or any business owner who's sitting there at whatever level they're at and they have a guaranteed basic, you know, 10 X sitting right in front of them if they would just learn the principles of growing and scaling responsibly. Um, <laughs> what would you say to those business owners based on what you've personally experienced in the last 24 months? Well, if you're talking about medical professionals, chiropractors, medical professionals, whatever, they all have one thing in common and that's that they want to help patients. They want to improve the lives of the people around them. Okay. So what that really is, is how much impact can I make for the people that I treat or serve? Well, if you want to make a bigger impact and help more people, you, it, it's a must that you, I mean, it's almost a responsibility to, to expand and grow. Um, so if you're wanting to help more people, if your, your goal is to obviously help more people, then it's your responsibility to grow and expand beyond where you're currently at to help more people improve their lives, to live better lives. I mean, the first thing we say is first do no harm. Well, I mean, if you're not doing harm, that means you're helping people. And if you limit wh who, how many people you're helping by, well, I got to where I'm comfortable, well, that's being selfish. You're being selfish with your gift that you've been given. And there's a greater opportunity to expand past where you're at. And if there is that opportunity, which I guarantee you there is, um, it, I believe it's your responsibility to do that. Yeah. And so, um, so here, here we are, we both met at the first growth con. We both ran into Grant Cardone and, and started reading his stuff and paying attention to him at the same time. You and I met before I was even partners with Grant, you had a small $300,000 practice. You were frustrated with it. And now you fast forward. I'm Grant Cardone's business partner. We have a, 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 a explosive growth partnership and company together. You're, partner now with our partner AMI that I met through Grant and and so all of a sudden if you think about it from a layer standpoint Grant and I partnered then AMI partnered with Grant 
And then you partnered with AMI Grant and I, and, and so yeah, technically and we're all partners. We're partners, yeah. I just signed the paperwork <laughs> yesterday. There to, you go. Uh, so we've been partners for one day, and you didn't Fist even bump. know it. Yeah. And, and man, what a what a team, what a group of people that actually care, that actually care about their their customers, their not only their customers but their employees, their employees, people. I've heard so many stories that you don't even know about about your employees that. Of, of things that you've done for them that are just are really remarkable and grants the same way. Um, one of my goals last year that I wrote down was to become, uh, um, you know, not just a customer of you and, and that whole group that you just mentioned, but to become peers, to become partners, to, you know, become friends, uh, because the, that's how I view myself and that's who I want to become. And that's something to think about for people. Who do you want to become? Who, you know, what's that future you that you want to be? And if you start thinking about that and really uh, being very intentional about who that person is, the things will come, uh, they'll, they'll flow to you, because that's what happened with me. That's why out of, of 35,000 people <laughs> at uh, GrowthCon 3, uh, you were one of the three people that I met and stayed in touch with. And it was really funny because I met you, didn't know you were there to meet Grant or, you know, I didn't know any of that. And then two months later, I all of a sudden see, you know, Cardone Ventures coming. I'm like, I didn't even, what is this business? I had no idea what this was. And so um, I texted you and I was like, what is all this? You're like, yeah, that's why I went. I was intentional with why I went there, where I sat, um, what information I was trying to get and give. And that taught me, just that one phrase taught me a ton. So everything I do, I wake up in the morning, I'm intentional about it. And it's all about connecting with that future self. Which is why your business is, is literally from when we met is why your business is literally, you know, 10 X. Yeah. And, and what's really cool is you've also, not just you, but you the systems and the business and everything, the education has saved me from making a couple of really massive mistakes that would have cost me not just money, but years, time. See, I, I'm obsessed with the, the compression of time. You know, Grant talks about that a lot because I, I you might know my personal history, but you know, I lost about 10 years of time of being able to grow a business and focus on uh, impact and all of that. I lost about 10 years of, of personal growth. And um, I'm trying to make that up. And I think that's one thing we all kind of have in common is how can we do this so effectively um, and efficiently that we compress the time so that way, you know, we're making a bigger impact quicker. Yeah. Well, and so you've joined with Grants and my partner, AMI, mm -hmm. Mike and Calling uh, Carberry, and, and that organization helps chiropractors uh, grow and scale and integrate uh, um, medicine into their practices so that we can provide a deeper, more impactful service to people who would otherwise maybe get put on drugs or things oh, yeah. because of pain and all that. So talk a little bit about that whole partnership because uh, we've got so many chiropractors that are now integrating mm -hmm. that are partners with us in AMI. We're so, I'm so bullish on that business. My father is, is a client of an AMI uh, practice. My dad could not sleep for 10 years. He had shoulder pain. Mm -hmm. that that he couldn't even be on his side you know lay on his side he'd wake up every day with this just nauseating pain he couldn't like he couldn't throw the ball for the dog or any of that stuff so he went in and he got a couple injections mm -hmm. and like he for, he has now forgotten 15 months later he has forgotten he ever had a shoulder problem wow. throws the ball through the dog does all this stuff talk a little bit about the the treatment process and what it does to change people's lives okay so our mission in our company is to improve the outcome of the patient without using steroids, meds, or surgery. And the reason why is all three of those things cover up symptoms. They don't really correct the symptom. Um, I, I'm sorry, they, they, they don't really correct the problem. They just cover up the symptom. So simply put, if your body's functioning properly, you don't have pain or symptoms. So when the function stops happening the way it should function, then pain and symptoms develop. And so our process, and we learned a lot of it through AMI, it's similar to as a chiropractor treating people and getting them better and trying to improve the function. But there's a lot of other things. If somebody has a torn rotator or if they have something that's internally injured, as a chiropractor, I'm not going to be able to just get that thing to magically start to heal faster. 
Um, so what AMI really does is it teaches you how to develop a business system that implements um, other treatment options as well as chiropractic care in order to improve the outcome of that patient. That's really what they do. But I'd searched for five years for a coaching group that would help me do that. And I met a lot of them and all of them had the same answer. And that answer was, uh, we're going to make you a lot of money. And I was like, well, I mean, that's great, but there's a bigger purpose than just the money. The money should flow if you're helping more people, right? So actually I met um, Mike and Colleen, Dr. Carberry and Colleen at um, GrowthCon uh, and we were in, in Grant's plane hangar. And I have a really cool picture. It's pinked out because he had all the lights. And uh, and I asked him, I said, and it was, it was loud. And so we're trying to do this business talk anyway. But I said, all right, Mike, tell me what this um, this AMI thing is all about. Because I was kind of jaded. I just found out about it at that growth con when he I announced me. it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he goes, well, um, AMI is all about improving the, the outcome of the patient. And he said, but anything we implement into the uh, into the, the treatment uh, or any practice has to um, improve the patient's outcome and it has to help the patient it has to be legal and ethical and then has to be profitable and so the fact that he put profitability number three led me to go well that's interesting I'm, I'm interested in that that's different than anything I'd ever heard from any other coaching group and trust me I looked for him um, so I started doing a bunch of research two months later uh, you know my, my limiting factor at that time was financially how am I going to afford this they worked with me. They figured it out. You know, there, there really isn't any limitation that you guys haven't been able to figure out. And most of them that I've heard from other chiropractors are money. Oh, man, I don't know how I'm going to uh, – should I invest? Look, number one, they'll help you with the affordability. I mean, I love your statement. I'll never let money come between yep. me and my friends, which yep. is a real statement. That's not a freaking tagline. That is a you mean that, and it's yep. real. Um, so, yeah, they worked with me on that. Uh, I signed in August that year uh, in – October, we hired our nurse practitioner. In November, we did our first injection. The first month, our revenue almost doubled. Yeah, there you go. The first month in November of last year. So it's been one year, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, and it's continued to improve and, and expand since we uh, got the right people in the right seats with the right training. Doing the right thing. Doing the right things, yeah. Uh, and that's and, not easy. That's something you had to learn. Oh, that I didn't know this, but I had a couple people in the wrong seats for a long time. I had no idea. Um, I didn't even know how to evaluate it. I just thought everybody should come in and do their job, and here's the goal, and this is what we're going to work towards. That was pretty much my business plan, which is terrible. Uh, but, you know, I was able to utilize my gifts better by learning, you know, the, the systems um, through AMI as a chiropractor. You know, most chiropractors I meet want to do more. They want to be more. They want to help more people. And they just do not have the systems in place in, and the understanding in order to be able to make that happen. They just don't have it. And so, you know, you've invested hundreds of thousands of dollars in your schooling. Most of them have invested hundred thousand, hundreds of thousands of dollars or if not, tens of thousands in their business. And they're worried about, well, what if I invest a few thousand more? I'm like, well, yeah. well what's the outcome you want? What's the, what's the impact you want to create? And what's the end result? So I wanted to be able to travel, speak, uh, do speaking engagements, help more people with what I've learned through life. Um, and I wasn't able to do that. And now I can. It, it, earlier this year, something really crazy happened. I went on a fishing trip with my dad and my son on Thursday. And the office still made money. And I wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Mind-blowing. That's why I'm here today. They're, they're still, you know, they're doing their thing. And I'm not there. I don't have to be there. So that's, I mean, I, if I pull myself out of it and it still runs and makes money, that is the ultimate goal for me to be able to help more people without me having to actually be there helping those people, which ex allows me to expand and help more people. Yep. Yep. Well, I think, I think, uh, what's, what's fun to watch from my standpoint is when someone like you comes into the system, realizes that you can be great or remarkable at what you do. You can amplify your impact of what you do and you can also create a a much more significant net worth while you're doing it, which gives you more resources to invest in doing it bigger. And it, it's, it's an algorithm and a lot of business owners struggle with just getting their own thing to work. And then when someone like you figures it out and you start to go through that explosive growth, it's pretty darn exciting to watch. What's it feel like? Well, it, it gives me so much excitement for the future. 
I mean, that's, that's what it feels like. It feels like energy, vibration flowing through you. Like this is possible. The, you talk about the belief lit a lot. I, I mean, I believe that I can do it. I believe my team can do it. I believe I can impact millions of lives now when, a, you know, a year or two ago it was, oh, maybe I can, you know, help a few more people this week, you know? Um, so that belief starts to raise and, and you get just, just this energy that flows through you. So, uh, physically I'm in better shape because I'm more excited. I'm more, I want to go work out. I want to go, you know, be more active and physically fit because it allows me to help more, you know, more people and, and do more things. Um, yeah, I mean, so what it feels like is just, it's just pure exhilaration. Uh, but the certainty and the, the, that's what really gets me, man. I mean, I'm so certain about it. That feeling is, is like, I was so uncertain for so long, 10 years of just, am I going to make it through this week? Oh, how am I going to? And, and you got my wife, you know, hey, are, when are you going to take a raise? Can we take a vacation? Can we get our kids this stuff? I don't know. We'll see how this week goes. I mean, that's a, that's a shitty feeling. It just is. It yeah. just, that uncertainty. And it, it almost makes me a little emotional because I was there for so long. Um, but now having that certainty around knowing what I need to do, and there's no angst around it. It's just, oh, it's this is what I need to do next. I'm going to help other people. I'm going to help my employees. I'm going to help their families. I'm going to help my patients. I'm going to help uh, uh, more chiropractors develop their businesses now. Um, I mean, we want to expand. We, we want to keep opening up more clinics through this process because we want to help AMI reach their goals, which then helps you reach your goals. Um, you know, earlier this year, you were on, I did a, a speaking presentation. It was a, a competition, and um, I came in second, and you were on the panel on that. And I, I, I wouldn't have been able to do that two or three years ago because, you know, all the trainings I took, number one, but number two, the confidence, the certainty, like I said. That's why I was able to stand there and deliver a message of this is what I want to do, and this is how I want to do it because I'm certain about it. And that's what, you know, you really helped – with that and developing all these programs, um, which you have a lot of programs, more programs mm -hmm. than I can go to right now where I'm, I'm trying to catch, catch back up. But no, man, this has been a fun ride. It's been exciting, but the certainty I, I would say is the number one feeling that I, I just, I love. That's and awesome. people see it in me. Yeah. Other yeah. people well, see, I it see it in you yeah. and, and you're a great example. So great conversation with Dr. G. <laughs> I'm Brandon Dawson. Thanks for joining us on the B. Dawson Show. If you have a million-dollar business and you want to take it to $10 million, or if you have a $10 million business you want to take it to $100 million, or if you're $100 million and you want to grow to a billion, join us here at Cardone Ventures and hear the stories come to life on the B. Dawson Show.